Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to another day session vlog. And in this video, there's not gonna be any fishing content. I'm really sorry, but I've got a big announcement and that is I've bought a new fishing vehicle. Let me show you around. So here it is, I'm absolutely buzzing with this. This is a Volkswagen Caddy short wheelbase, 2011. It had 91,000 miles on the clock. It cost me 6,000 pounds and I am absolutely in love with it because I don't know why. I just wanted something big enough to take my fishing gear in, but something like a van that wasn't white. And of course, this is gray. It's beautiful. So it is a 1.6 TDI and it is quite nippy for what it is. But what I wanted to make sure was I had something that was big enough to take my fishing gear in, but at the same time, I didn't want it to be too big that it was difficult to park. And it was also pretty nippy and it is. So yeah, this is it from the driver's seat. It looks absolutely awesome. It's plenty big enough to carry my fishing gear in for the time being, but eventually it is going to be converted into a micro camper. Now, if you do want to see me convert this into a micro camper, I do have another YouTube channel that you guys can go and check out. If you just want to see me doing bits of this van and, and, and changing it to a sort of micro camper so that I can take it around the whole of the UK, just do a bit of off-grid camping, um, then go and check me out. Check out my other channel. It is Escape with Aaron. So go and click on that, subscribe and like the videos on there if you want to see something a little bit different other than just the fishing. But yeah, oh brilliant for the time being it's going to be my fishing wagon but like i say in time it is slowly going to be developed into a micro off-grid camper well i have just taken this fishing actually i took it fishing on the first day that i got it and i fished at the doorstep lake which is where i'm filming a lot of the moment for uh, tracking down at 20 if you haven't seen that go and check that out but i am tracking down at 20 from that lake and uh, as I was unloading the van for the very first time, like I say, the, I picked it up in the morning. I went for a few hours in the afternoon. And um, as I was unloading it, a dog walker stopped me and just said, sort of started admiring the van. And they were like, oh, it's in very good condition for its age and things like that. And I was like, yeah, I literally picked it up this morning. Um, and we were just chatting for ages about fishing and vans. So yeah, I was very happy with that. Um, off to a great start. Dog walkers like it, but uh, yeah. Oh, it's just it's brilliant i've been driving it around the forest so much and i'm just really really enjoying it i used to have that mercedes trying to fit all my fishing gear in there you have to put things in order this needs to go first in that position this needs to go in second on top of it this needs to slide in there with this i could just whack it all in the back and it all fits in for a day session everything fits in so easily um i haven't done any sort of like 24 48s in it yet but it's not going to be an issue whatsoever so like i say very very happy with the space i've got a nice little nippy van and uh, yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. Now the beauty of it at the moment is where it's a fishing van, I can easily come and put all my stuff in the back of this and it's no issue whatsoever. I have got some spare off cut bit of carpet that I'm going to lay in here to just stop it from getting wet and like smell fishy and horrible and muddy and just to protect it basically but yeah at the moment i'm just going to be using it for my fishing gear and as i sort of earn more money and and get the time to sort of convert this it is going to go into a micro camper i'm thinking about putting a bed in on this side maybe a little kitchen unit on this side so yeah i am really looking forward to it in fact i've got a trip coming up in the next sort of month or two um where my best mate and i are going to wales and we're going to go and climb snowden um, so we're going to drive this up. We have actually got accommodation. We're not going to stay in the van, but um, we have got accommodation for that. But it'd be nice to just take it for a little drive up to Wales. Yeah, I, uh, honestly, like, I know I've said it, but I am so happy with it. Um, because look at the windows as well. I've got the view out the back. I've got it's letting enough light in. Oh, I've got space in here. You know what I mean? Like when I had that, well, I've still got the Mercedes, but basically when I took the Mercedes fishing, I used to have to put everything in order of like, this needs to go in this way there. This needs to go on the back seat. This needs to slide on the top. But when I take my fishing gear out in this, I can just whack everything in and it's no issue. Well, I am back at home now. and I just wanted to say sorry that it was a short one and sorry that there wasn't any sort of fishing content in this video. But I just wanted to introduce 
the fact that I've got a van because it's going to help me massively um, getting around to places and obviously with my fishing gear and stuff like that. It's all part of the channel. And it's all part of what I'm doing. So just know that I am putting in a lot of hours at the moment down the doorstep lake to make sure that I do complete that challenge and you guys will see that video, um, well, hopefully pretty soon. But yeah, from the cat and I, she's asleep, I better not disturb her too much, but yeah, from the cat and I, just thank you to everybody that's watching the channel, that's supporting the channel, that's liking, subscribing, and yeah, just know that, like I said, you've had some some absolute mental content. Um, I wasn't meant to be uploading every week, and at the moment I am, so I hope you're enjoying that. But yeah, the next day session vlog will be out in two weeks' time, and there will be some fishing content for you guys to watch. So thanks for watching this one. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bish, bash, bosh.